So today we're going to talk about two-way ANOVA. In two-way ANOVA, what we do, we have a set of variables. Uh, one of the variables is a continuous variable, and the other two variables are in independent uh, discrete variables. And what we're doing is we're actually checking if there's a significant difference in the first main effect of the two uh, discrete variables. And then we check if there's a significant difference in the, in the second main effect. And then we're checking if there's a uh, significant difference in the interaction effect between the two different uh, main effects uh, when we're discussing the, um, the continuous variable, which we're checking. So let's uh, build uh, some data set for that. Um, and then we'll test what we have. So this is what we have. To start with, what we need to do, we need to load the library tidyverse, in which in my case, it's already loaded, but bas basically it needs to be loaded. Now we're going to generate a specific data set and I'm using a specific uh, set seed value. So that means that I'm aiming for a specific, uh, for a specific set of results. Um, so what we do, we're actually going to grab all this. We're going to generate the gender. Um, we're going to generate the gender vector, and we're going to generate the city vector, and we're going to generate a payment vector and happiness vector. And we're going to wrap all of them uh, in a data frame called data. And this is how it's done, right? And since I have the specific set seed value, that means that I'm going to get a specific result, which I'm going to use. So now when I want to see uh, how this data looks, so this is effectively what I get. I see that we, that I have a female from New York, uh, which is her payment is 13,762 and the level of happiness is 87. I see that I have a male from London, which earns 15,484 and his level of happiness is 59 and so on and so forth. So forth. So this is uh, what I have. Let's take a visual look at this so first i'm going to generate a coloring function it's going to make the the bar plot a bit nicer uh, so this is how it looks we can see that we have more women than uh, than uh, men we can see that we have more women from lisbon uh, approximately 160 something like that we have uh, also a, a bit less women from london and uh, even less women from New York. And we have the same thing with men, only uh, less. So we have uh, males from Lisbon, from London, and from uh, New York. So if we want to take a better look at the descriptive of this data that we just generated, so this is what we get when we look at uh, the, first, uh, the first main effect from the perspective of the gender. So we have 401 female with mean value of uh, mean happiness value of 69.32 and we have 199 males with 69.18 so just with this we can understand that probably this is not going to be something um, too different because it seems that both genders have pretty much the same level of happiness and if we want to check it from level of happiness of the city we can see that we have people from Lisbon 247 people from Lisbon with a 69.17 level of happiness, um, 187 people from London with a 68.37 level of happiness, and from New York we have 166 people with the highest level of happiness of 70.45. And we can see we have uh, a bit more variation here. And we can also see the combined effect. So we can see that we have uh, 167 women from Lisbon with this level of happiness. We have 126 women from London with this level of happiness. We have also female from New York with their level of happiness. And we can see the combination of all uh, of both uh, all categories of both main uh, main effects. Now we want to generate the um, the ANOVA procedure. So this is how it's done. And from this, what we get, we can see that for gender, there's no significant effect. We can see that there's 91.56. Uh, this is this, uh, the magnitude of the p-value, which is huge. It's almost 100%. 
that, that means that there's a significant, there's a huge difference in stating that there's a significant difference between gen, between the two genders. And we saw that, that they, they are very close together. As for the cities, we can see that also this is not significant. There's no significant result, but we can see that there is a significant result when we're talking about the combined effect or the interaction effect between gender and cities. We can see that's almost 5%. This is called the borderline case, but still it's uh, it's almost a significant effect. So um, when we take this and we want to uh, check the two key uh, procedure for this, we, that, that means that we want to see where the effect is coming from. So here, once we're going to run the two key procedure, the two key HSD procedure, we're going to get uh, an effect for all three factors. That means we're going to get an effect for gender, we're going to get an effect for city, and we're going to get an effect for the combined effect of gender and city. Now, we're interested only in the uh, last uh, combined effect, not for the two main effects. So once we run it, we get, uh, we get this list. And basically, we're not interested in any of this. We're not interested neither in the gender, because we know it's not significant. We're not interested in the cities, because we know that's not significant as well. But we are interested here to see where the difference is coming from. And we can see, when we dig into this uh, list, we can see that we can find... Um, actually, we can see that the, as for the P-adjusted, Effectively, we cannot find the source of the difference between the two, uh, between the interaction effect. Yeah, we can see that all the p-adjusted are much, much greater than 5%. So for no reason that we understand, uh, we can actually came up, we actually came up with the result as shown before. But effectively, this is how we test it if, if that's needed. In this case, uh, we didn't come up with anything. We only came up with um, the fact that for sure, there's no significant difference between males and females, and there's no significant difference between any combination of the cities, right? Neither London and Lisbon, neither New York and Lisbon, and neither New York and London. And we can also see the combined effect in which we cannot see, actually, we cannot find any significant difference. But this is still a result that we that we get. We can also have, we can see the plot in this case. The plot in this case, it's a bit a uh, crowded plot because uh, there are many combinations. But if we take a closer look at this, effectively what we can, we can see actually all the combinations of the um, um, data that we had. And we can see that all lines here, right, all um, intervals actually have intersection with the zero value. That means that neither one of them is significant. So this is a result that we get. And we understand from that, again, we see the same thing that there's no significant result, there's no significant difference between uh, neither one of the, of the effects, neither the main effects or the uh, combined interaction effect between them. So basically, this is how we do the two way ANOVA. And in this case, we didn't get uh, to uh, groundbreaking result, but again, this is how it's done uh, using RStudio.